All right, welcome everyone. If you're making your Shopify product page and it's starting to look like this, I understand where you're coming from. When you're on your product page, you usually have your price and your title and your variance, your add to cart and buy now button. And then everybody knows the importance of SEO and product descriptions. Sometimes your product page can look like this, where you have a long product description that you've written and you've put into the description section of your product page. But then when you get to your online store, all your work is seemingly useless because you have this massive gap right here on your store that seems to contain you down and down and down depending on the collection. There's a very easy way that you can fix this if you didn't know. I remember when I first started my Shopify stores, I didn't know this right away. And it's a very simple fix, especially if you've written amazing product descriptions. So if you go to your themes from your online store and you click customize, and we navigate to our product page, in this case, the default product page, and we select with the inspector here, the product information, we can change this in two great ways. Now, of course, this is the Dawn theme, the 13 version of Dawn theme, the free Dawn Shopify theme. And no matter what theme you're using, it will all have different features and sections and blocks and different parts that you can enable. And that's why if you don't see it on your theme, this is this might be a feature that is not in the same spot or not available. And that's why theme selection is very important. But one super quick fix to this to not ruin your very beautiful long product description is to navigate up here to the product information. So again, we're using the product information block and enable sticky content on desktop. If you click this, what this does is this locks the pictures in place. So now with this enabled, if I scroll, we can see that the image catalog is locked in place until we get to the bottom of the product information template. This is super duper useful to make your website not look completely broken and not waste a really well written piece of content like this, which can get customers to bounce if it's not looking the way they expect. Another way we can fill this in is if we add more product images and we stack them. So in the same product information section here, there's an option here that says the desktop layout and also there's the mobile layout. But for the desktop layout of the images, because with your products, you usually have more images, more images, the better usually, especially if they're high quality, as so we can change how this looks. This is currently stacked. And so if you have a longer description, stack can work. However, a thumbnail carousel is very popular. And so the same thing happens. You can enable the sticky content with the carousel and it'll fill in that left side of the page for you. So depending on how big your images are and how much space that you need to fill, you can't really put any text on this side. In fact, you know, it, it's, it's best practice not to do so. You wouldn't want your product page to show images here, variant and price here, then images down here on the right and more text down here on the left. If you wanted to add collection specific information, store specific information, you can add another section below the product information section here, and that will apply to all your product pages. But for product specific descriptions and specifications, one way that we can fill in this on the left side is to use your long description and just enable sticky content on desktop. At the same time, if you wanted to not enable the sticky content. Maybe you have big, beautiful images that you don't want to hide in a carousel and you want those to be the star of the show. You can, of course, use the same description and just add a collapsible row block to your product information. That way you can put specifications into a collapsible row, which is found on the same page. You can name that collapsible row, whatever you'd like, like quality or shipping or reviews or anything like that. And you can take the parts of your product description and put them in your collapsible row. But that's just a little quick tip for any beginner Shopify entrepreneurs that are dealing with product page design issues. If you click on into your product information section, there's all kinds of combinations that you can try to make sure your product page is exactly the way you want it. I hope this helps. If it does, make sure you leave a like on the video so I know. I run multiple Shopify stores. I've been doing so for such a long time and I love helping fellow Shopify entrepreneurs. You wanted to join a free community of fellow Shopify entrepreneurs where we can all just come together and learn from each other's experiences. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video. Oh,